Hello, this is Wes McDermott, and in this Unity Cookie Q&A, we're going to take a look at a question that comes in from Clint Willard, and the question is, firing a weapon in a shooter game using ray casting, how can I make a bullet visible, like a trace around with gravity drop coming from the rifle nozzle? Okay, so we're going to take a look at how, you know, actually a really simple way that we can do this with actually hardly any effort whatsoever. So I have this little simple game that I've got, and um, I'll go ahead and hit play on this so you can see what this guy does. So I've got this little character here, and when I do a swipe to the left, the guy moves to the left, and when I do a swipe to the right, he'll move to the right. And then a simple swipe upwards, he'll throw the kind of this rock type, um, you know, projectile here, and it'll just kind of throw that into the scene. And you can see that I've got a little particle effect that kind of, you know, bursts out when the rock actually hits something, and then when the rock hits the cans, they 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 um, they interact here with physics. So what we'd like to do is add kind of like a, a trace around to this, or a little bit of an extra effect where it looks like. Um, you know, we've kind of got like a, that kind of shows a little bit better uh, the direction in which the rock's thrown. So what we're going to do is, uh, in my project here, I've got this uh, little prefabs folder that I set up. And uh, this little shuriken guy is actually set up as a prefab. And so if I select this guy over here in my inspector, he's going to show up. And what I want to do is I want to add uh, a component to this guy. So I'm going to click the Add Component button, and I'm going to come over here to Effects. And underneath Effects, I'm going to add the Trail Renderer. And the Trail Renderer is going to do just that. It's going to render a trail from from this projectile and since the the actual rock game piece is actually being thrown into the scene the trail renders all it's going to do is just basically render a trail right behind it so it's really simple to set this guy up and so what we need to do to get this guy working is we need to add a material to this so I'm going to come over to my project material folder and I'm going to create a new material so I'm just going to come down here to material and I'll call this uh, tracer tracer material and now we have this tracer material, and let's take a look at some options for this guy. So what we want to do is uh, we want to set this guy to be a particle. So we're going to come down to particles, and I like to use this additive mode. So I've got particles, additive, and all it needs now is a little texture. And so uh, for this texture, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over here to Photoshop, and I'm going to create uh, a texture that looks like this. So how do we do that? Let's just go ahead and delete this guy. So uh, what I have here is just, uh, if we go and look at my image size, we've got just a, a a simple pixel dimension of 100 by 100 pixels and uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, create a new layer and uh, I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and just kinda start with a very small size maybe 10 uh, with white and just try to find the center here and I'm just gonna click a couple times to make a kinda like a little hot center here and then I'm going to uh, increase my size like this. Uh, and then I think what I might do is maybe drop my opacity down a little bit. So we'll just kind of drop it down and kind of get this centered into that original dot. And then we'll just click maybe once or twice. And then we'll bring it in again. It's just, and what I'm doing here is I'm hitting the bracket keys left and right uh, to uh, minimize this brush. So you can see that up here in the brush palette, we've now moved this down to around 40. And let's click that one more time. Eh. Maybe one more time. Okay. So basically the idea is we kind of just get this nice little uh, circular fall-off type gradient guy. And uh, what we'll do is also just uh, go into my move tool and hit the arrow keys to kind of nudge this guy around. Just kind of make sure it's in the center like this. And then I'll uh, just hit Command E on this guy. Or uh, I'm not sure what it is on a PC, but on a Mac it's just Command E. I think it might be Control E on a PC to kind of merge those visible layers down. And then from here what we're going to do is we're just going to save this guy out. And I'm just going to throw this right into my Textures folder here. So we'll call this uh, Tracer Texture. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it as a PNG. Just save this guy out. Now that's going to be in our Unity project. And so we've got our tracer material selected. Uh, let's go back over to our textures um, and see where this guy is. So here it is, that tracer texture that I created. What I'm going to do is just left-click, drag, and drop that guy into my texture slot. And so now I've got this texture that's going to be modulating this tracer material. Uh, and what I want to do now is just tint this color. So uh, maybe what I'll do for this guy so we can really see it is we'll make it kind of like this golden type color here. So we've got this color that we've picked, and uh, you can see from the material that, uh, and actually if we go back to materials, you'll probably see it a little bit better here. Okay, well, it's not updating for us. But anyways, what we've got here is uh, we've got this material um, that's a, an additive 
it's taking on this additive type behavior. We've got a tent color here that we've selected. And then this color is actually being modulated uh, across this particle texture. And then we can even uh, adjust the softness. Here, here we go. As soon as I hit that soft particle, you can see where uh, I kind of updated that material for us. So we'll, we'll just drag this down, uh, just kind of set our... our our soft particles factor here. And so now that we basically have this guy in place, let's go back over to our prefabs and uh, select that uh, that rock piece. Now, for in my case, I'm just, I happen to call this guy a shuriken, you know, kind of like he's throwing out something in the scene. So that's just what I happen to call it. Uh, but here we've got a materials, and we need to apply that material. So uh, let's go back to that material and just left click, drag and drop that guy right onto the material. And now we have our trail renderer, and we have our material set, uh, and that's basically all we have to do. So now what we can do is just hit play, so you can see this work. And so now, when I actually kind of do an upwards flick here to throw this guy out, you can see that we now have this nice uh, kind of tracer effect. And because we've used the trail render, it's automatically um, following in the direction that I'm actually throwing this piece in. So the way I'm calculating this is I'm actually um, doing a, this is actually for a mobile device, this demo was. So right will I do a touch start, and when I do a swipe and let my finger up, I basically create a vector there and so then I'm throwing that little rock piece into the scene based off that vector and so it has an angle to it as you can see so if we swipe here you can see that it was this angle if we swipe kind of towards the left it moves to the left and now what's happening is this trail render that's a tied or basically attached to or it's a component of that shuriken rock piece that we're throwing out in the scene it's taking care of all of the work for us and so uh, we can actually come in and adjust some of these assets like our time how, how long is this tracer so if you really want this to last a very long time we can actually and let's see I might be able to adjust this right here in the viewport and see if it so let's just change this to like 12 or something and let's throw this guy out here so yeah it lasts a little bit longer um, we can minimize this guy down all the way to like maybe one actually I can't tell if that's making a difference let's let's try this let's go ahead and change might have to actually stop the player first let's grab this shuriken let's go over to our time and let's increase it to something really crazy like 20 and then hit play and let's see what this does so uh, now when we do our swipe here uh, well, it actually looks the same. It's a little bit longer, but that what that does is it um, that time difference is how long this tracer effect is going to take place, and so it, it extends it a little bit. So we'll uh, stop that from playing, and let's just take this guy back down to maybe four, and uh, we can actually change our start and end width if we want to. So um, I don't know, maybe we'll we'll make this maybe 0.25, and our start width is one, and we can actually adjust the colors of this as well. So right now everything is white, so it's basically just taking the full color values off the what what I'm doing for the material, and that's what I want to do with this guy. And so we'll keep that there, and now we'll go ahead and hit play on this guy, and you can see now we've got our tracer effect, and see so we've we've uh, adjusted the time, so it's a little bit different, um, but but uh, depending on how long that swipe is. Um, it's it's actually getting a, a little bit of a different effect, and that's because in the code that I wrote to actually throw this shuriken out, I'm actually doing um, basically how how fast or slow that that um, that little rock piece is going to throw out based on how long your swipe is. So if it's a real short swipe, if I can even get that to work in the viewer, um, it's faster and, and it's slower based off how how the swipe length is. So you saw that one was a little bit shorter, so the, the trail render is a little bit shorter. But then also changing that end width to 0.25 gives us that nice little kind of point at the end. It makes it look a little bit better there, look a little cooler as a trace around. But you can imagine, though, if you had this um, as a gun, say you're firing a weapon, and, and, and just over and over again how it's just firing this weapon out, it, it looks kind of like a really cool bullet effect just running off here. And it's also nice that the trail render will actually uh, take into consideration the angle, um, or how the, we'll, we'll say the vector in which the projectile is actually traveling, and it will it will essentially just trace that vector. So it's really cool how that works, and it's a pretty nice effect. And we get this kind of like added um, added cool, or excuse me, additive kind of cool particle effect uh, based off that material that we selected. So there we go. There's a very simple way to add a tracer effect uh, to a bullet firing or any type of projectile or anything like that firing into your scene. Thanks a lot for checking out Unity Cookie, and we'll see you again next time.